Well, how many of you have financed a car and traded it in for a new one without really understanding what a break-even point is? Well, the break-even point, uh, I think it's one of the most commonly overlooked factors in vehicle finance. And while it's obviously possible to upgrade your car every few years without even knowing the meaning of the term, I think a basic understanding of uh, break-evens and balloon payments and all of those things are are really critical to ensure that you empower yourself with the right tools to make the right decision for you. Well, I'm joined now by Lebohang Kharkete, uh, who's Head of Marketing and Communication at West Bank, uh, which is one of the uh, the country's biggest uh, vehicle lenders, to go over the basics. Lebo, welcome to the show. Firstly, April's new vehicle sales were quite robust. Uh, just overall, what are we seeing in the new car market at the moment after those horror years of COVID-19, where we saw Oh, declines of up to 90% in sales. It looks like things are on the mend. Thank you, Michael. Uh, yeah, and thanks for having me on the show. Thanks for the opportunity. And um, to be quite honest, Mike, um, or Michael, sorry, we are recovering. Um, so we are seeing that consumer confidence is slowly uh, picking up post the past, what has been now over 24 months um, of COVID. So there is a slight um, uptick in vehicle sales. We are seeing it through new applications that have increased, which obviously is a great marker in terms of, you know, people are really shopping for those cars. They're trying to get back into the market. Um, And I mean, when the year began, the vehicle price index is is, is actually one of our biggest um, sort of challenges because Mm. vehicles, as with anything else, keep increasing year on year. So when people start applying again for vehicles, we are confident that the market is slowly starting to tick up. Yeah, and obviously, uh, and we've discussed on the show uh, and on numerous occasions over the last couple of years, the impact that things like chip shortages has had on the new vehicle market, supply chain issues, mm. uh, and all of that leading to, um, you know, inflation in, in, in new vehicles that kind of uh, outstrips your, your general CPI basket. But I think many people, and I'm probably in this bucket, have uh, delayed their their purchase of a new vehicle. And there's a replacement cycle here because, um, sadly, vehicles don't last forever. Uh, and I, I I reckon we're going to start seeing a lot of that uh, lead to increasing demand. Certainly, um, the the OEMs and the dealers that I chat to are seeing a bit of that as well. So, when when it comes to financing and structuring your your vehicle finance, it's very important to understand uh, things like vehicle break even points because they they give you mm. a, a sense of whether or not you can take on balloon funding, whether or not that's for you. So, let's start right at the beginning. What exactly is mm. a vehicle break even point? Um, to put it simply, and I mean, you know, this is probably one of the most misunderstood um, or, or underrated, if I can put it that way, concept when it mm. comes to vehicle finance. Um, and it's it's really very simple, you know. There comes a point in your car finance where the value of your vehicle, um, at that point, if you wish to trade it in, the trading value of your vehicle um, is equal to the amount that you owe on your loan or on your installment or the amount that, that, that you know, you you're about to settle on your car, literally, you know, breaking even um, as, as, the, as the concept says itself. And why that is important, Michael, um, for a consumer particularly is that, you know, that is the best and optimum time to start looking for a car because it essentially means that, you know, what you're trading in um, is equals to what you, what you owe. Yeah. So the liability, I mean, it's no secret that cars are liabilities, but fortunately a break-even point is when you, you, know, you get to a point where you can actually trade in your vehicle or start looking for a new vehicle without that process, um, you know, denting a hole in your pocket, if I mm. can put it that mm. way. Mm. Yeah. Where, you, where you'll still be paying off uh, your, your old vehicle while you're financing the new vehicle as well. And, uh, and, and that really is just compounding the debt. What are the variables that determine a break-even point? Uh, because not all cars are the same, uh, you know, not all depreciation 100%. is the same. So what are the key variables? The first one, which you've already alluded to, is the actual car. You know, cars vary in terms of uh, how they depreciate, um, how one, you know, keeps and maintains it. Firstly, um, the vehicle price index that we've just uh, spoken about earlier. um, And and that's just around the car itself. And then you get the finance part of of, of, of what impacts break even. 
I mean, for instance, the longer you have the car for, the longer you finance the car for, the higher your debt. And, you know, the, the longer it takes you to reach that break-even point. That's mm. the first thing. Um, and to be precise, I mean, if you look at a 72-month sort of period, we are seeing trends where it's anything between, I mean, the consumers reach break point between 42 up to 50, 50 months. Um, and obviously with COVID, because people are holding on to their cars for much longer, those periods were, were lengthened, um, mm-hmm. right? But the, the, the general trend on average, um, South Africans, because they love their cars, um, you know, the break-even point is anything between 35 months, um, 34 to 35 months. And this is because m- most of the time people take out a deposit, right? Which already when you take out a deposit, it moves the break-even point closer. Um, if you advance your payment, for example, you know, if you pay, if you're supposed to pay 100 rand a month, and I'm simplifying for understanding, yeah, um, we all wish that we could pay 100 rand <laughs> for our vehicles every month. Maybe back in 1970, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if you're supposed to pay 100 rand, but you pay 150. For example, you advance your payment, you decrease that that, that debt, you move your break-even point um, closer. And that term, if that term is shorter, you know, if it's 72 months as opposed to um, 80, 90 months or, or, or longer periods, that you reach the break-even point sooner. Mm, mm. And so the opposite applies, uh, Michael, where if there's no deposit, for instance, it shifts that break-even point further. Um, if there's a balloon, which we all know that, you know, it's that huge amount that you have to pay once you finish um, financing the car. Um, at the end, again, that moves the break-even point further. Or if you miss an installment now and again. Um, so conceptually think of the debt, you know, how much is the debt? The lower the debt, the sooner the break-even point and vice versa if the yeah. debt is higher or the period is, is lengthened. So those are the key variables that we look into over mm-hmm. and above the value of the car because then there's things like, you know, how soon does the car depreciate yeah. um, and how, how you keep it and how you maintain it as well. Yeah. And, you know, West Bank, I'm sure, sits on a, a vast amount of data uh, that can give clues as to what South Africans are doing. Um, can you share uh, the, the the, the sort of trends that you're seeing in the data are South Africans uh, trading in too soon? Are they are they sticking to that break-even point? Uh, what do you see in the data? Um, as I alluded earlier, uh, when everything is, is is normal, and I say normal in reference to the pandemic to COVID, the trend um, on a 72 month sort of um, vehicle finance term or contract is about anything between 32 to 35 months. Um, so so sooner, you know, because mm. of the high, dep- we, we ask mm. that a lot of people like taking out deposits, they like advancing payments. So Africans love their cars, so they want to get into the next one as soon as possible, right? Right. right. But COVID, the pandemic, the variable, people were holding on to their cars much longer, um, even at the time where they could, um, where they've reached break even point, they could trade in because of uncertainty, you know, uh, because of trends where we were seeing during COVID that a two, a two car family, for instance, they were trading in one car because they suddenly didn't need two cars parked in a garage. Yeah. Um, so we, we are hoping that, you know, with the consumer confidence increasing, with applications increasing, we will normalize back to, um, you know, the 32 to sort of 35 36 months um, break-even point. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's very important uh, for consumers to be aware that it's not the most ideal situation to be paying off a a portion of your old car while driving your new one and uh, and to be fully aware of well, the advantage of a balloon payment reducing the overall monthly down payments but uh, extending that break-even point uh, uh, well into the future. Uh, And and that will, you know, obviously come to bite you if you you want to be upgrading and driving uh, the the newest vehicle and model as they come out. Lebel, thank you very much. Uh, a real pleasure chatting to you about uh, the ins and outs of break-evens here on Hot Business. Take care. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you for having me and thanks for the opportunity. Have a great day. Thank you. That was uh, Lebo Kharketi, Head of Marketing and Communication at Westbank here on Hot Business. Open an f cash